Uh, thank you for coming back. Uh, apparently the outside is really beautiful. But uh, I hope this will be interesting as well. Um, uh, like uh, Ivana said, I'll be presenting research that I've done with a colleague, Agnes Prusik, um, about how uh, our work as Wikimedians increase information literacy and how that in turn builds a better uh, civic society. Um, this is partly to inspire you, maybe to do similar research projects. It's also um, arguments to use in advocacy for our work and to, in decision makers, also for fundraising, because um, I believe it connects some broad topics that uh, funders, decision makers care about, like uh, democracy, civil society, um, fake news, to our work. So it's uh, quite a uh, useful uh, argument um, in the context also of the, I think, generally shrinking civil society space, uh, there being less um, common space for collaboration, self-representation, all of this we can show that we can help with as Wikimedians. Um, I have uh, some booklets uh, with the summary of this research, uh, which I think I'll leave at the uh, registration desk after, after this talk, so you can, you can see it. It's also online. I'll give a link later. Um, first of all, though, I wanted to show how I got inspired to do this uh, research, and the inspiration came from Wikimedia UK strategy, my, uh, my affiliate that I'm uh, working at as a director of programs. So, first of all, uh, Wikimedia UK's strategy, uh, it connects a little bit to some of the earlier uh, talks we heard from Shani this morning, for example. So, this is Wikimedia UK's vision. Uh, of an informed, democratic, equitable society. Uh, as you can see, it doesn't even mention Wikipedia. It's, it talks about open knowledge, but it's all about how we can help a better society through our work. Uh, so that's the vision. How we see our contribution to this is um, uh, by growing people's understanding of the world, uh, helping them make better decisions, understand each other, the issues that affect them, for example, in, in climate. Um, so this is how we see our contribution through, um, but, but it also sits in like a wider strategic framework, of course, of uh, Wikimedia 2030, um, but also we connect this work to uh, United Nations uh, Sustainable Development Goals. Of course, there is one about education, but interestingly for me, there's also one number 16 in this wall of text of, um, of making effective, accountable and inclusive institutions. And to make institutions uh, accountable, I think it's useful to have citizens that can question those institutions and make them accountable. And for that, you need information literacy. So again, it all fits together this way. Uh, how Wikimedia UK does that, I mean, I think a lot of the same things that maybe your groups would do. Of course, we have the education programs in universities and so on. Uh, but we also advocate for inclusion of education activities by talking to people like um, uh, Ofcom in the UK, uh, uh, Department of, of, of Culture, Media in the government and, and so on. And lastly, we also do research to help show how our work functions, what's the impact. And uh, here is an example of kind of doing advocacy, working in collaboration with partner. This is from University of Edinburgh, Shani also mentioned it this morning, how um, a director of learning who supports our work there says that our work um, makes students really critical thinkers, which I think is really um, key of our work. Um, and now some of the recent research that we've done, there is the Wikimedia in Democracy, which I'll start talking about in a second. There is also work we've done showing how various models of student engagement, like internships, placements, can also be used for Wikimedia. This is a different model that I won't be talking about here, but it's quite interesting. And there is a booklet about that also I left at the, at the registrations, like a green balloon if you want to check it out, and some information, uh, some case studies we also do. So 
just to summarize, the reason why I wanted to do the Wikimedia and Democracy research is that we start with this broad vision of the equitable democratic society. This is what we want to see. And on the other hand, we do these workshops, edit-a-thons, all the, all the education activities that we all do. How do they connect? How can we say that an edit-a-thon leads to a democratic society? Because I felt intuitively that there is a link, but I wasn't sure how we can show it. And this research uh, investigates that link and I hope shows uh, that there is a, at least a correlation. Uh, so, just to jump maybe to the conclusion of this research before I go into the detail. Um, with my colleague, we were able to show that our work, Wikimedia activities, increase participants' information literacy. And as the second important step, that when people have higher information literacy skills, they are more engaged in the democratic process. They're better empowered citizens. Um, so our work can be shown to be really, really impactful. Now, in the, in the full booklet, the full research, there is um, a lot of information about the frameworks on which we based this. There is many different definitions of information literacy, for example. Uh, there is different ways of understanding, like media literacy, uh, citizen engagement, um, all of those things. Uh, there is a lot of discussion about how they're understood. I'm not going to go into this uh, here. Uh, it's in the booklet, but also I think the important thing is that we take them as the sort of fuzzy and broad terms as they are and just focus on this general link between them. Uh, one thing I would say that... Uh, I speak here about the civil society a lot, and that's also quite a complex term with different understandings, but for me it just means it's any sort of activities of citizens where they take collective action for social good, for some sort of good outcome, independently of government or, or business, and that's what I mean by uh, uh, civil society, empowered citizens. Uh, now, as the rain started falling, quite a beautiful soundtrack, uh, let me talk to you about the key sort of elements of that research. First is looking at the, how our work builds information literacy. Now, this might be quite obvious to, to us here, but again, it's important for this fundraising or advocacy argument that we can show exactly the elements of information literacy that we address through Wikimedia activities. There is, of course, the under understanding of, of content that's kind of uh, investigating ideas, opinions, facts, thinking where it came from, so evaluating trustworthiness of information, verifying the information, fact-checking, and so on. Then the applying critical thinking skills, so sort of analyzing, detecting bias, evaluating, interpreting, and reflecting also on the impact of, of false or misleading information on, on society. Then, of course, the heart of Wikimedia using collaborative and group learning skills, if it works well, uh, I suppose. Uh, that can include communication, teamwork, and, and so on. And lastly, quite a sort of lofty term, but encouraging civic disposition. What I mean by that is things like uh, respecting diversity of opinion, which I think functions well on Wikimedia, uh, taking personal responsibility for how you um, operate online and, and also how, how others might, might see that. I think an important element of, of information literacy. And I believe, I hope you can see, that uh, being a Wikimedia contributor, learning things in a workshop, hits all of those areas. You do build information literacy through our, uh, participating in our work. So now on to the second element of this. Uh, I believe we were also able to show through investigating various sort of um, frameworks of, of um, civic engagement how our work supports strong civil society. And uh, it's being done in those four areas. So the first one is more about like providing free and open information. This is important because it kind of uh, records 
cultural memory of, of, a, of a society, which means that we can redress imbalances in representation, for example, um, that can challenge media manipulation, become, make a, a stronger, kind of more resilient civil society. Second, uh, improve information literacy skills. We already uh, covered this, but just to say again, that can make people uh, less threatened by uh, fake news, um, build more cultural understanding and tolerance. Then encouraging volunteering. Volunteering or participating in a society is, is an important area of um, civic disposition. It, it's, uh, yeah, you, you, you can become a better member of a democratic society. And the last point, providing accessible collaborative infrastructure is a bit of a meta point. But what I mean is when people participate in, uh, in an editathon, uh, generating uh, content online, they use our free collaborative infrastructure, which uh, gives them like a direct experience of navigating community decision process, self-representation, participation. This is useful to become a better Wikimedian, but it can also be used outside of our movement, uh, online or offline. People can get better at organizing through the experience of having run or participated in, in Wikimedia activities. For me, that's, that, that last point is, is really critical actually. Um, so uh, because this is a bit, this research is a bit of an advocacy piece, we've also written it out as a series of uh, recommendations to decision makers, policy uh, makers and, and to our partners. So um, just to run through them quickly, um, our recommendations, conclusions is that any sort of Policymakers writing uh, definitions of information literacy should promote, use that to promote the uh, importance of that literacy for democratic participation. The research has shown that often they're quite separated. It's not being talked in the same way, but if they're combined, it's much stronger. Uh, but also that this sort of democratic participation is included in, in uh, formal education. Again, the research showed a gap. Um, there is almost a decrease of focus on civic engagement in, in education, and this could be increased. And moreover, it, Wikimedia could be used as a, a sort of testing ground, uh, practice ground of, of those skills. And then, of course, like we in Wikimedia have a lot of resources about information literacy that we've developed for our policies, like uh, what's a reliable resource, verif verifiability, and so on. All of that could be used um, in formal education as, uh, as our resources. And then we also have recommendations to partner organizations like in GLAM or Culture, um, showing how when they promote Wikimedia activities, uh, they can frame it as a way of encouraging uh, civic engagement. Here, what I would stress is it's, it's particularly inspiring and important when this information literacy or civic engagement meets uh, knowledge equity. When I was doing this research, we interviewed uh, a lot of minority groups, um, including um, refugees from, from Syria, and they were talking about how um, editing and participating in, in editathons on Wikimedia was an incredibly meaningful way of uh, self-representation, of sharing their heritage, especially if they were doing it on English because they had like this um, sense of a big shared platform of of sharing, of, of giving their voice, of self-representing in a way that was difficult otherwise and perhaps also almost a um, way that wasn't accessible for them because of, their, because of their refugee experience. So this was really, really powerful. And so maybe to kind of uh, summarize this in a, in a different way, um, working on Wikimedia projects can facilitate a spirit of, of collaborating towards a common good, a common goal that we all share, collaboration, cooperation with others, activism, and all of that feeds into uh, 
an empowered civil society, essentially. And, and this together, uh, I believe, can go quite a long way into realizing this vision that I started with of a more informed, democratic, and equitable society, which I think is really beautiful. Um, I think I mapped it out. Uh, so uh, this is our theory of change. So just to show if you can see it, the different activities that we do uh, feed into outcomes for uh, information literacy that I've already t t talked to you about, uh, which feeds into uh, civic engagement. There is a connection to climate, which is important to us as well. And at the end, that democratic society. Um, I'm pausing because one person is taking a picture. It's not such a good, uh, <laughs> but here, but this one, this next one is quite exciting. You can't see anything. However, um, in 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 the booklet, uh, the, this diagram is reproduced, and I believe it's quite it's quite powerful. So I hope you you get to see it. It maps all of the different areas that I was talking about, all kind of converging into a informed and democratic civic society. And let me leave you with a link where you can find this uh, research in case you don't get the book. Oh, I have three minutes, but here is a, if you search on commons, this is the report. Um, I know we are behind time, so I'm happy to finish here. Although I also have a video that I can play. So let's see. Ah, okay. Yes, yes, yes. I'll share that as well, but I'll leave also hard copies in the registration. So the video that I wanted to play is this one. Let's see if it works. No, it does not. Okay. It worked before when I was just clicking through. I don't know. Ah, maybe here. Okay. Let's see if the sound works. Tenim yma yn Emsbarg heddiw efo disgyblion sydd wedi bod yn rhan o brosiect Wiki Môn o fewn y ddwy flynyddu isa. That's okay. It was uh, kids talking really inspiring really about the experience. Yma, uh, Wikimedia. Tenim yma yn Emsbarg heddiw efo disgyblion sydd wedi bod yn rhan o brosiect Wiki Môn. It's really cool. Okay, uh, I will perhaps share the link also in the Telegram. So that's it, and thank you very much. Thank you. I think no time for questions, right? We just uh, carry on. If you have questions, we can we can. Or find me later. Okay, that's fine too.